Hey there, today is the first video about CSS on Scopelik. We're going to talk about the media query prefers color scheme and ways to override it with user interaction. Let's get to the code. As you can see, I created a project on Code Sandbox and I added a little bit of um, default HTML. The most important part is the select. So as you can see, it's not a, a regular toggler because it has light, dark, and auto, which is supposed to take from the system. I have some default styles that I created just for us to have it slightly more presentable, but um, we're going to change the colors. Uh, the only thing that's actually going to stay is this color palette that I created. And I did the white as well because there are different ways of uh, declaring white. If you set a variable like that, it, it might be a little bit of overkill, but it's easier to track down where it's going to, where it's being used. As your system grows and scales, then if you need to check out where it's going to be used and you want to replace the color eventually, it gets easier like that. So I created white. So the first thing we're going to do is to declare our media query. So in this case, we're taking these variables that are pretty much object-oriented and taking them as values of new variables that define function where they're going to be. So that gives us a little bit more granularity. So I find that to be a good practice for scaling your interface in the future. And now what we're going to do is so we're going to declare the same media query, but also for light mode. So as you can see, created a new media query for light mode. And in this case, that's why we have two different variables on dark mode that have the same value. Both page background and card background are dark gray, but in light mode, they're a little bit different because dark mode, it's not just replacing the light colors for the dark colors. It's also about having your interface a little bit uh, less aggressive sense of vibrant colors. So now we just need to replace colors that we have declared here with the variables. And voila. So we have it now. And if we switched our theme, it goes with it. Amazing. But it's also a good practice to allow the user to override it. So at this point, if we switch, nothing happens. So my system is light mode at the moment, but I want to read it in dark mode for whatever reason, and I'm not able to. So we're going to set some overrides for it. In CSS, it's quite straightforward. All we're going to do is create a new attribute selector and when the value is dark, it's going to get the properties from dark. And of course, when the value is light, it picks everything from light. And that's about it on the CSS side. So we have um, the media query as our default. And when data theme is defined, it overrides whatever is set on the media query. And now we need to do some JS stuff. So I already set in some IDs on our HTML. The first one is I'm setting the theme toggler ID, so you need to fetch it. And we're going to, of course, set an event listener for it. So every time it has the change value fired, it's going to, to call this theme settings method. So at the moment, it's not doing anything, but let's fix it. So first I'm grabbing the body of the document because we need to set the data theme attribute. I'm going to do I'm going to switch the title of this dialog here, but that's not necessary. It's just to make it more pleasant for our example. And here is where we grab the value. So we take the current target of the event and the select comes with this node list. That's a selected options because there's a special attribute on select that allows you to, uh, to select multiple elements. And in this case, we just want the first selected element because there's actually only one. Now we have a switch statement, uh, which is going to have three different cases. So we have the light case, the dark case, the auto case in this situation, and which happens to 
be the same as the default because it's always a good practice to leave a default state on your switch statements. So what I did here is every time light is selected, it's going to set the data theme for light. It's going to switch the title for theme light and it's going to break the execution of switch so it doesn't continue to evaluate the other cases. So let's do the same for dark and now the same for auto. So now if we switch dark mode, it overrides and light again. And that's it. I'll leave the link for the code sandbox in the description below. Thumbs if you like it, subscribe to not miss another, and see you next time. Bye!